shit, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I know y'all ain't see this coming. I know y'all didn't, <laughs> but I'm just I'm just happy I can make it happen for y'all, man. Greg Haggett, Bernie the motherfucking boxer. What's going on, champ? That's right. That's right. What's good, G? What's good, G? Hey, you know man. who it is? It's yours truly, man. It's Bernie the boxer, man. Yes, sir. Hey, I peeped something though. You uh, you 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 was three and zero, right? Yeah, yeah. I, fought, I had three. I had three pro fights. I turned. So I'm like, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go why, ahead. Why you stop fighting? Uh, well, the first time is like in no five. Like I stayed active for like two years. Yeah. Like to 07, like I stayed training in the gym and this and that, but I couldn't get no fights. Shit wasn't coming through for me. And uh shit, just everything just came to the head, like from just being in the streets, because I was still in the streets, and uh, right. you know, running around, living the life, you know, two different living a double life for real. And yeah. uh I was like, fuck boxing, man. That shit ain't paying off. You know what I mean? I had a did some shit, but it ain't paying off. So fuck it, I'm just gonna be in the streets. Yeah. But uh so then anyway, then, uh, uh, you know, like I say, I went through life. And then uh, when Bud became champ and all that, I, I still, like I say, people keep asking me about when I was going to fight. Am I going to fight? And you should fight. And I feel so good in the gym. So I was just like, damn, Bud, can you get me on? He was like, I see. They got me on the show. And I mean, it changed my life. It brought me back in a big way. My nigga. That's what's up. Man. Hell yeah. One thing I appreciate yep. about you, one thing I appreciate about you, you ain't a guy that's just talking. You know what I mean? It might sound, it might sound like you be talking shit, but you know what you're talking about. You feel me? Man, I went to the Silver Gloves. I fought in the regional tournaments. I fought in the national uh golden gloves a couple times. The yeah. United States Championship. I went to uh I went to uh I fought in the blue and gold. I went to the national tournament all by myself with no coach. I went to the Olympic trials for the Western Olympic trials. I fought in the trials. Man, I've been all over, man. Like I say, you know what I mean? And and uh I know, I know, I know I can fight. I know what kind of talent I had. And I know, you know what I'm saying, you know, from my peers. You feel me? I I, I felt the respect from my peers. So, you know what I mean? I, I know what I can do and I know I can fight. Like I say, I love fighting. I've been I've been in love with fighting for such a long time. I've been in love with boxing, period. So yeah, man. Like I said, yeah, hell yeah, man. I've really been in the box. I really, man. I, I've been, you know, in the trenches trying to trying to make it with this shit, man. For sure. Hey, but I got one more question before we really get into it. What was your, what was, what was life like before boxing, and what made you get into the into the gym? You feel me? Uh, man, I'm t I live in the projects, man. So, like, I always been a rough person. Like, I always been like a. You no, know, I know I'm handsome and pretty and shit, but. Like I always been a rough dude. Like I always been an into fight. Like, like if a person crossed me any kind of way, you feel me? Like I gotta get him. And so I always been a been a like I got a quick temper. And so the police told me to come catch catch the bus to the gym. Yeah. Like I was already, I was already uh, whooping people coming home from school from the lunch program, you know, just a little dumb shit, just getting into shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was always fighting, and uh, like I say, just that time. Oh shit! Grandma, we just we just went. I grabbed two homeboys, some older homies that I knew, and we went, and uh, we went and worked out and. Like I say, once I seen that boxing ring, cause uh, we seen we had to, uh, they asked us, we all was in the line, and they wanted us to see how we fight, so we shadow box like in the ring. Yeah. So I was like so geeked up to see the ring. I was like, hell yeah! I got up there and did my little skit, and uh, man, shit. After that, <laughs> I, after I got in that ring, I was just in love, and so, uh, but I didn't have after that. I didn't go to the, I didn't go to the gym or catch that bus no more. Because, like I say, I was in a gang at an early age. You know, it was affiliated. It was and back in, what, 1990, shit like that was real deep. Right. So right. It, was, it was real heavy. And uh, we, I got into the altercation we was leaving. I was only nine years old, but we got into an altercation. And uh, I was outnumbered, so I didn't go. You feel me? Right. And then uh, I didn't ask my mom because she was doing so much shit and just living her life. I didn't never really think to bother her about nothing. And none of my people, I didn't bother them about going. Yeah. So what I did was, uh, 
I was about nine years old then. I'll say about nine years old. So then when I got about 10, maybe almost 11, uh, my grandma, she told me about Joe Lewis. And so I went and read a book. And I've always been like a history person. I've always been in like conspiracies and like who killed John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King and shit. I used to read stuff like this, like when I was stuck in my grandma's house, like or just be at my grandma's house because she had like all kind of encyclopedias and stuff like that. So I've always been like a reader and a, a history type of person ever since I was a little kid, you know. So, so first thing I did was looked up Joe Lewis and I wouldn't, once I started reading that book on Joe Lewis, like, I was in love with the pictures and I, you know what I'm saying? I was just in love with everything, just reading about it and you know what I mean? You know, like you like can picture it in your head, you know what I mean? Like you fantasize about it, you know what it was like. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's what it, I, I, Joe Lewis, you know what I mean? And of course, you know, everybody know Joe Lewis, you know, he high every, all the stuff that he did and you know, the tremendous impact. And like I say, that's what my grandmother, she turned me to him because uh, you know, like Muhammad Ali, he became, he came later. You know what I yeah. mean? Like how he endeared to the people and stuff like that. But Joe Lewis was like from the beginning, you know, he was just like our hero, like from the beginning. And he lived like a faultless life, you feel me, pretty much. And they, they dogged him out. So, you know, he was always like a heroic figure in our community and somebody that we could be like, like carried himself with pride and dignity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And was never yeah. loud or yeah. never acting a fool or nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? But uh, at the time, so my, my grandmother, she introduced me to him. So, uh, like I say, I did that, and then I, at the time, I was boxing kids around the neighborhood and uh, fighting with, uh, like, because I was a left-hander, so I would just only need the left-hand glove. So I would fight with kids around the neighborhood, get trying to get everybody to box with me and box with my sister and my brother and, you know what I mean, my dad. Like, I was always into it just from uh, then my mom book for the, like I was in the sixth grade she got me this book it's called the great book of boxing by Harry Mullen to 1990 and it was all the history of boxing from every weight class from like light flyweight 105 or some damn near to all the way to heavyweight mm. so it had everything all the history in it from all them times you know from like a hundred years and so I would just study and read it, you feel me? And I would look at the pictures and I would draw pictures. I would take pictures out of them that I liked that was the fighting pe poses and I would draw them. And uh, like I say, I just loved it, man. I just love reading about them. And I just man, fantasized about them and dreamed about, I don't know what, just about boxing. And uh, like I say, far as I just always had a temper, you know? And so like I say, I don't never mind no fight. I always love a fight. Don't yes, sir. Mind no Yeah. Temper. So, uh, but no, that's what got me. That's what got me. So, what you? Man. So, what you think changed from from the times where you jumped in the game yeah. to now? From the time you jumped in the game. Okay, hold on. We messing up. Was yeah. I clear yeah, before? You Could good. you hear me all loud? Yeah, you was good. Okay. 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 Now go ahead. What I you said, say? What, what has changed in the game from from the time you started to now? What has changed? Um, well, uh, let me say, we say you mean in the amateur level I mean, or the just professional the game level? Period. What do you see that's just different? What do you see that's different? I, I feel like, I feel like um, back in the, back in the day when I was an amateur, yeah. for sure, I feel like the fighters were better. I feel like the talent, the talent was better. Mm. I feel like the real pedig the pedigree was better. I feel. Like You know, as far as the M's and and and, and yeah. Classes up far as the amateurs, they stopped it from almost like the pros. You know what I mean? They start making weird weight classes and stuff like that, but. That was far as probably I could say for the amateurs off top of my head. Yeah. But um
Yeah, you tuned out for you tuned out for a little bit. Yes. Okay, okay. Like I, I'm, I'm figuring that uh, it's the money. I think the money to change the dynamic of the game to where everybody, nobody, they don't want to take no challenges. They don't want to be nobody. You know, they don't want to. They, you know, for for whatever reason, Greg. I don't, I don't know. You know, but. You know, HBO used to make them fights happen. Right. You know, they used to have their stars right. when they when they build their stars up, they build them to fight each other. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, so just in that aspect, you know, everybody, nobody really want to put in the work to be something. They don't really care. As long, as long as you look like it, then you know what I mean. I guess that's good enough. Yeah. yeah. So look, so that, was the that was the introduction. Let's get into the game Let's currently. Get into the game currently. Yes, sir. We got. Fundora versus Fundora Zoo. Versus How you Zoo. feel about that fight? What you, you think? Fight? What you think? I think it's a good fight. You know, Fendora is a tough guy, and Fendora is a guy who, but I think his he, you know, he don't use attributes. I don't think he got the the smartness to. He don't have the click to say, okay, nah, that ain't good for me, and and, and box. You know what I mean? He gonna get into a firefight, and I think that's what cause could cause him to get caught. Yeah, that's why I, how I think it's gonna happen. You know, like I say, I don't think he's gonna use his height and keep his reach and and, and and things like that. But you know, maybe you know what I'm saying. But I think he really like to fight, and once he get in that mode, it's just like it's sh it's a shut off point. You know what I mean? And because he did it with Lubin, you feel me? And he ain't he's not he's done it with all his fights. You know, he'd have been yeah. dropped. He didn't been he didn't been wobbled. You feel me? And I understand you can't you can uh you can't keep a guy out there all the time, but like I said, you gotta learn at least learn how to tie up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your IQ gotta get a little better. You know yeah. what I'm saying? His IQ gotta get a little better. And I feel like maybe he reached his ceiling in that point. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I say, he just know it's it's when it's go, it's go, and I can't I don't know what else to do. You know, I don't know how to hold, I don't know how to uh stall time, I don't know how to, you know what I mean? I'm just once I get to get in that mode, we banging. And I'm getting mine in too. Is is fuck you or fuck you know what I mean? Whoever you know what I mean? <laughs> right. right. Real, yeah. shit. Real shit. He going. He going, he going for broke. He going for broke. I'm telling you. <laughs> so so <laughs> during so, no fight. So, hey, that's just like it's just like Amir Khan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Amir Khan is the yeah. same way. You know what I mean? He he he. he you know he even though he care he he know he'll get dropped. He don't give a fuck. He right. like if we banging right. we banging. I'm gonna get mine off and and right. you know what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, yeah. Do you give what what type of percentage what, what type of a chance do you give him winning? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say sixty forty. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Cause cause uh, like I said, you know, I know he rangy, I know he can fight, and uh, you know what I mean. Uh, he hungry, but again, like I say, off his skill set and off uh, his, you know his, his willingness to fight. He gonna be dangerous, you know what I mean? And his right. height and all his right. attributes, he gonna be dangerous. But in the long run, he gonna get sloppy. He gonna get careless, and I right. think that's when right. uh, Zoo gonna Zoo gonna capitalize on him. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. What you think about? What you think about Devin Haney, Devin Ryan, Haney Garcia. Ryan Garcia? Ryan Garcia. I, I, like I say, I think Devin gonna punish him, man. I think Devin mm. gonna punish him, man. And and uh. Like I say, you know, they they telling the kid he need to get like he need to get some like help and stuff like that. And and I was thinking this too. We were just talking about the neighborhood. You know, the, I'm with the homies too. And right. then, like I say, people right. just talking. They ain't in the boxing, but they just listen to everything. Whatever, anything that come on, they watching. They listening. What they believe, everything come out. But like I said, you right. He not selling the fight, bro. Acting a fool like that. Acting like you're out of it. That's not selling the fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's talking about or well, the stuff he's talking about is not selling the fight. People really worrying about him. And then you got people in high places talking about personally, I was take him out the fight. You know what I mean? Just little sound bites. I think he should get help first. And you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And uh that's not selling the fight. You know what I mean? And, and, like I'm saying, it's not selling a fight. He need to be showing some knocking out sparring partners and hitting the bag all crazy and you know what I'm he saying, put some mysterious. He put he put up some clips, right? He's sparring right? the guys, but I never guys, seen the guy throw seen back. The guys throw back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, it's crazy. Hey, what the fuck is that about? What the fuck is that about? Hey, oh my God! Did you see the Did you see the thing where he was Derek James when he was doing the shadow boxing routine? <laughs> Come on, man. This. Listen, I don't know if if somebody could make that up, like they could digitally make it up with a camera. 
But this is insane, man. Yeah, yeah he, was, bro, he, he was killing. It's insane. He was killing Derrick James. <laughs> oh, Derrick James, man. But, and, and you know, Derrick James, like I say, I, I, I think, you know what I mean, he really loved boxing. I think he loved boxing. You know what I mean? And, and uh, he, you know what I'm saying, he got hot behind the Earl Spence and everything. And, you know, Texas is big and this and that. And I think he really think he can help them guys because, you know, they do got a little talent. You know what I mean? They ain't just, you know, talentless. You know what I'm saying? So he figured that probably like uh probably like a fella like him, an old fighter. Like I wish I had the all the the shit that he had. They rolled out the red carpet for me. You understand? Right. And right. I'm and I'm a motherfucker who check pay attention to the game, who study, really wanna be good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got a motherfucker who just playing with the shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> so maybe I could maybe I could well, maybe I can help this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I didn't came up with this kid humble. You know what I'm saying? We didn't, they didn't raise me to this level. But at the same time, it's at the same time I'm trying to help a motherfucker who I didn't get the help. I'm trying yeah. to put into my put into something that I didn't get. You feel me? Yeah. And, and man, just disappoint you. <laughs> they just Tank, disappoint you. <laughs> Tank and Frank. Tank and Frank. Tank and Frank. Now listen, but hold on. Greg, just disappoint you. You mean you making millions of dollars, bro? You ain't even a world champ. You got you got other. Wait, you got a dad too now. Now wait, we gotta stand. You got a Mexican dad at that. A daddy, not a mama. You ain't the single mama. You got a daddy. You understand? Yeah. Now, yeah. We, now they all talk about the. But now the, the daddy. Now you got the daddy, and you got all these problems, bro. Y'all got a hundred million or thirty million or. All these people love you. You getting endorsements and you got problems? What fucking problems? Your fucking dad is not fucking sick. You not fucking sick. Your mom not sick. You talking about? I'm t like I say, these spoil you. You said, you hey, 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 hey. You said for that kind of money, you can fix the sick. Great. I told you. <laughs> Listen, the Powerball, the Powerball was eight was a billion dollars. The Mega Millions was a billion dollars. The 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 uh the uh the uh mega the Powerball is eight hundred. I said, yeah. listen, bro. I said, if 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 I want eight hundred million, okay, they gave me eight hundred million. I could take at least. I could say the least I could take. I mean, a million is like dumb, but three million dollars, three million, just three million. Yeah. And we living good. My yeah. my family, we yeah. we damn near set. I mean, cause yeah. we ain't gonna stop working and trying to be nothing. What we doing, but. Three million, just three million. It's good elbow room. Listen, and, and wait, 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 wait. And then I'm trying to say to this too, though, because I'm dealing with a pinched nerve. And like I say, you know, I'm not doing bad. I'm not hurting, but I'm not, you know. For, but like I say, if I'm, my health ain't no good, that's a fucking problem. Okay, so I'm living it. But I'm saying your daddy good, your mama good. You what the fuck is the problem? Fuck them. What are we talking? I don't understand. If you, where's the daddy protecting you at? How is the Illuminati getting you? Who give a fuck about your Instagram account? That's only more mystery. They gonna love you if they can't get to you. What did you talk? Let them miss you. Just what is what are you crying about? I, like I say, and then and this this is the number one thing. Wait, wait, wait. I, I mentioned the money. We can't underestimate the money. Can't never underestimate the underestimate the money. But ain't nobody in no dire straight no health. <laughs> what the fuck is you crazy about? All right. Okay, I'm done. Okay, all right. so Frank so, and uh, Tank. Right. So, to, Frank to, and, sum, uh, to sum it all up, stop bitching. Exactly. I swear to God. And you you selling the fight wrong. You selling yeah. the fight. You're doing the wrong thing selling the fight. You need to be knocking over sparring partners. I'd have been happier with that. Like you say, yeah. knocking sparring partners out, but they ain't punching back. That's more selling the fight than anything than acting a fool. Yeah. So, but uh, so like I say, so now we to real fighters. But you know what, too, we got Tank in, in him. And uh, I was thinking this though. I was talking to the homies today. I say, you know, we got uh, this weekend too. We got Roly and Pitbull. Talk to me. And like I say, you know, I'm really rooting for Pitbull. Because Pitbull is a fighter who's a real boxer. You know, a real fighter, not a sideshow. You understand? Rolly like a sideshow, man. Yeah. Show, man. And, and uh, 
though those they keep guys interested in boxing, but I'm really rooting for the real boxer, man. I'm really rooting for the real for the real boxer. I like Roley. I think he a cool dude, and you know what I mean. He will fight. He are he gonna try to land some bombs, but is he trying to perfect perfect his craft to be good? No, he just in the sport to be doing it. He feel like he had a talent, or he could had the athleticism to do the shit, and he doing it. Yeah, Pitbull Cruz is trying to follow in the tradition. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah, man. So I, I'm pulling. I'm pulling for Pitbull Cruz, man. I'm real. I'm really with the real boxing shit. I was watching. Uh, like I really watched. Like I watched the entrance. You know when when uh, HBO boxing. You know which is the best boxing telecast. I don't give a fuck what they say. HBO boxing. When HBO boxing come on. That's when the real shit on the the commentators, the fights, HBO boxing, man, come on. Anyway, so like I say, I watched the entrance. I want to listen to Jim Lampley talk, Larry Merchant, what he got to say. I'm uh, even though sometimes they say crazy stuff, but man, listen, they the best, man. I'm in the boxing like that. What he what 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 fight he came out in? What he how did he come out? What did he do when he got in the ring? I'm really with the boxing shit, man. I'm really yeah, with sure. this Yes, sir. I'm really with the boxing shit, man. Not the clown shit. Hold on. What's wrong, honey? Okay, baby. Well, you know I'm working. Okay, let me get it. <laughs> oh, thank you, honey. I love you. Oh, that's my baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, honey. But yeah, man. So, uh, like I say, I'm really rooting for Pitbull Cruz. And you know what I was thinking is too, though. But, you know... Uh, I was thinking, you know, but with boxing, you you it's you just want to win the world championship, man. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. And I know they like to fight for that WBC, but the WBA just is good, you know. Uh, I think Chavez, his first title was WBA. You know yeah. what I mean? Shit, they all just as good, you know. You win the main four, man. You you can you can you can count your blessings, man. You a champion, man. You know what I mean? But like I say, so they fight for that WBA championship. Go ahead, go ahead. Does 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 Frank Martin have a chance against Tank Davis? Little connection. You can hear me? Blacked out on me. Little little malfunction, ladies and gentlemen. But we here. Hey, it, bl it blacked out on me. Uh, started started over. I was I, I was saying with uh Frank Frank and Tank. Greg, you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you now. I was I was we want to see the fucking suit. Goddamn. When we going to get a bomb ass fight with two cold ass niggas? Mm hmm. Yeah. We won't. Damn. Ain't, ain't, a, don't, ain't yeah. we want to turn up fight? Absolutely. Shit, that's what we want. The fucking talk with the young niggas, man. Fuck wrong with them, little young niggas. We want the young niggas get in there, nigga. Swap it out, yeah. nigga. And we don't need Tio. We need Tank, Devin, and Shakur to box it out. You niggas round robbing that shit out and put them niggas in there just for extras. But nigga, we want to see you niggas box. Yeah. That's Real shit. You ain't never lied.
That's what the world waiting on. This joint acting crazy. A burn. This joint bugging. It keep blanking out. You want you what you want to do? You want to try to start it over? Yeah, you want to start it over? All right, see if that works. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it popping, man. I got Bernie the boxing with me, man. Y'all ain't see this coming, man. So we trying to we trying to go ahead and get it popping. I appreciate all those who tapped in, man. I appreciate the likes. Appreciate the subscriptions, man. We getting it going, man. Come on. The real shit. My man Bang just popped up. What's up with you, cousin? How you feeling? Thanks. We're going to get him back in here. He come. Let's get, let's get Bernie back in his joint, man. Yeah, man. Let's chop it up. Seriously. I, yeah, I can hear you. What's going on? Okay, okay, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, we trying to we, but we left off at you know the young boys getting in there and making something happen. Oh man, this joint is crazy. Yeah, it was a nice. It was a nice day out there. If you go to my grave, you'll see her. My old 73 Chevelle, man, it was a nice day out. And so uh, I drive it because, you know, you don't never drive the damn cars because it's so all uh, cold for so much or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I drove the motherfucker today. I got to put it in so my old lady can bring the daycare van in the garage in the driveway. Yeah. 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 All right, but I'm in the car, though. Can you hear me good now? Yeah, that joke clear now. Yeah, that clear now. Oh, okay. I'll just stay in the car then. I'll just stay in the car. Hell yeah, man! But uh, like I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, them niggas, we want to see them little niggas fight, man. Excuse my language, I'm just talking shit for a fit. You understand? Yeah. But man, we want to see them big three, man. We want to see them niggas fight, man. Stop playing, man. You know what I mean? Frank, Frank is a good fight. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what I'm saying he a good fight, but we want to see the big three, man. We want to see the big three, man. That's it. We, we want to see. Do you, do you think? Do you think we ever get those fights? I don't know, man. It's a it's a shame, cause I couldn't say if we going I couldn't say. It's a shame. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's a. Sh I don't. Maybe. It seemed like. It maybe. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like. I feel like you know. What I'm I want to say Devin, cause he's been fighting. Well, I mean Ryan Garcia is a. Like I say, I think that's a gimme fight. But. Like I say, you know, I think he should have. He could have. He should have gave Shakur. Uh, he should have gave Shakur a better offer, man. He should have treated that man with respect because not only, not only, he 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 needed them too, though. But I understand in the building standpoint, I guess the building standpoint, you know, um, get, being more comfortable at 140 and, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, getting a little bit more experience in, you know, before he took that fight. But like I say, I, I would expect him more, you know what I'm saying, just show him a little bit more respect because, that's the fight people are going to respect you about. You know what I mean? Y'all yeah. building careers, yeah. but I don't feel like you go backwards in, in uh, losing to the best. You know what I mean? I, I just don't feel like that. I don't feel like you go backwards losing to the best. You know what I mean? Y'all only got, y'all ain't, everybody undefeated. You know, so, like I say, I, I, I in that aspect, you know, I could see Devin trying to, trying to make that fight, but I don't know how much he going to try to do it like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like he too too snobby. You know what I mean? Trying to, like like I say, lowball the kid or feel like he in a better position and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know. I, I would tell these fighters nowadays, just do you, man. 
just fuck it. Just don't worry about don't worry about uh fighting this guy, the, the top guys, because they're not trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? And uh it's only so much each fighter knows what what you can do. You know if you really want to do it. And you know if your management can make it happen. So at the yeah. end of the day, if whoever, if any one of them know that, then just do you. Just live your life and just go on and make your career. And you know what I'm saying? And hopefully, and hope for the best. You know what I mean? Because like I say, waiting around on somebody because everything is such a strategic thing now. Everything is so strategic now. Everybody is so, so, you know what I'm saying, prima donna now to where, like I say, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. It's the. It's just like you might as well just just don't even worry about them. Cause if they feel like if they you worried about them, then they gonna try to treat you bad, try to ignore you, or you know what I'm saying. So it's just like better you just stick to yourself, make your career, put on great performances too. You know, a lot of these fighters don't understand about their performance. You know what I mean? Yeah. They they, they don't care yeah. about the way they perform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, yeah. So so that's another thing I think. You know, they worrying about everything else. You know what I mean? And I, when I say that. It's um, it's like, like I say, like uh, again, you know, your performance, you know, your performance, you know what I'm saying. I know when I say, when I think of it, that made me think of Shakur, but like I say, when I look at his performance, you know what I'm saying. Before I uh, go all the way to critique him, okay, like I say, the good things that he did do in the in the in there, you know, he sidestepped the man, he was walking the man down at times, you know what I mean. He had to do what he had to do. He had a broke hand. Okay, so now we're looking for the next time. So now. He just got to know that I can use my talents. If I can use them a little bit in a more entertaining fashion, I'm going to do that. Yeah. You feel me? I'm going to yeah. do that. Just like with uh, Sweet Pea when he did with Chavez. He stayed in there. He banged with Chavez. He stayed in the pocket with Chavez, even though people yeah. say he moved and this and that. But you know what I'm saying? So you do different things that, you know, your ability allow you to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be more entertaining. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, I feel what, like, you I feel like earlier, what you said earlier. You know what I mean? These guys, I mean, these guys, they got like an obsession like with being perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? But in the real world, the ain't real no such world, thing as perfect. Thing you gotta, perfect. you gotta put it on the line. Put it on the line. Yes. yes. Especially if you want people Especially to you want people pay you some mind. Pay you some mind. Uh, exactly. 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 And and what else better way to do it? That's the whole thing, though. I mean, that's the whole thing. Is is uh, at the same time because uh. I, I, mind, I don't mind you getting your shine, but you kind of taking away from my shine. Cause, cause, uh, cause like I said, you got, you got the WBA belt and I got the WBC belt, but I want the WBA belt. You understand? So, I mean, you got something that I'm looking for then, you know what I'm right. saying? Uh, you, right. you in my division. Yeah. So now you, you, you know what I'm saying? We, we, this is what we do. We mix it up. You understand? So, and, and, and again, you know, you, 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 you making a fuss. They, they they saying you might be better than me. You understand? Yeah. So that's even more an incentive to, to to prove my, you know what I'm saying, outside of me having my class performances, ready to go to work to make a change. Yeah, but, uh, you know, cause too, you know, you got to take them fights, got to build, and, you know, you got to take fights for money. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to take... Yeah. Just to keep your check. You know, everybody can't come with the big old huge check every time. Not every you understand? Time. So you Not gotta get the time. money in be in between, you yeah. know? Like yeah. the old fighters did. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. even uh like I'm saying, the sweet Pete Whitaker, man, I think it just make me jump to my mind. Like, like I said, you know, uh how he fought Gary Jacobs, uh how he fought uh different guys in between his reign at welterweight, you know, just you know what I mean? They wasn't all superstars at welterweight, you know, they was just HBO, you know, he putting up, he, he boxing. You know? Yeah. Things looking down the road. You yeah. know what I mean? They Like they did put him in. Like uh, he had been a long reigning champ and Dia Bailey's so title had been doing good. And uh, they put him in there. That was his his fight for the fight De La Hoya. He had to whoop Dia Bailey's so title, that Cuban, that long rangey, ugly punching motherfucking Cuban. Yeah. You know? He had to whoop him to get past De La Hoya. And he was already aging. He was losing the fight. But he caught that man with that. You trapped that man and hit that man with that straight left hand. Boy, that was all she wrote, man. Hit him with 10 straight consecutive left hands Ugly. <laughs> to save that fight. Ugly. You know? so, hey, Burn. Let's give them what they want, though. Let's give them what they want, though. Let's say they did make Bud and Boots. Bud and Boots. 
You think that it ever happened? Uh, I mean, I, like I say, I think if, if they came with the money, Bud would have uh, Bud would take the fight. They got to come with the offer, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's it, he not in a position to, like I say, the champion never chased the challenger. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and all I said is this: if Boots really really want to fight Bud, he would have did whatever he could. Now I'm not saying necessarily the WBO route. I'm not saying he necessarily the WBO route, which is a route he could have took, but. Even with the IBF, since you're so high in the IBF, it's just like, you just know I'm waiting there. I don't got to get strapped up yet. You just know I'm waiting here. Mm -hmm. and, and as long as you there and I'm here, there's no other, nothing happening. You know what I mean? Whether I'm here, nigga. So you're going to have to deal with me. Whether, whatever it is, you're going to have to say, no, nah, little nigga, go ahead and go. Or you're going to have to deal with me. If You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if he really wanted to fight, he wouldn't have got, he wouldn't accept that title. And, uh, but let's again, but let's you know talk saying? about but let's, let's talk say about, if the fight was made and it was happening. Was made, it was how you happening. think it really? But beat, beat the fuck out of boots. He beat the fuck out of boots. You think he go beat the fuck out of him? Beat the fuck out of him. Why you say that? Beat the fuck out of him. Why you say that? Beat the fuck out of him. Beat the fuck because Bud is that nigga, man. <laughs> he just like that nigga, man. Bud is that nigga, man. And when it get raw and it get funky in there, Bud gonna get funky. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And now, like I say, I don't know. I I listen. I know. I know. I mean, I, I ain't gonna go. I'm listen. I don't. We ain't seen him get funky. I don't care about no gym, but in them in that in them Olympic trials, everybody that's his knock right now. No matter how you slice it, that's his knock right now. Uh -huh. Gary Russell was bullying him, and this and that. And I know that was the amateur. And this I'm saying, if he hasn't gotten any better from that, Crawford gonna kill that man. Listen. Listen here, we talking about we talking about two funky motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> hey, like I said, one is proven. I got, I give you one is yet to be. I give, I give one you is that. Yet to be proven. I give you one that. One is yet to be proven. Yes, but one you, is yet to be you, proven. You, you don't and think boots? You don't think boots would have did the same thing to uh Spence that night? Fuck no. Ah. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. Spence, Spence wouldn't have been that scared. Spence wouldn't have been that scared. He was terrified. He knew Bud was, Bud, Bud was coming. Bud, 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 with you saying that, I know what you're looking at. I know what you see. But we talking about sharp, sharp, sharp. He's sharp. Hey, listen, I, 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 he ain't sharp. He, but it's more to it's more to that than it's more to it than, than doing Absolutely. that. You understand? So what dimensions can he handle in that ring? You understand? And I feel like, like I say, far as just Crawford, Crawford, he he been he been had it all these styles for you know what I mean. He just a real veteran. He just a real veteran. And he's a real that. student of the game. I feel like I don't really think that Boots is a student of the game. I think that I think that uh, you know what I mean, he got crazy talent. And I think that, you know what I'm saying, he got he got that self-belief. And I, I think that, you know what I mean? I, that's where I really think it's at. I think I I don't really think he's a true student of the game. You know what I mean? Cause like I said, you already I seen him, even the frustration that he showed in them fights, not being being careless, not being uh and, and not that he was winning. Like when you see Floyd Mayweather winning and everything, and they talking to the, to the commentary stuff, they're winning. They're in control. They're not. They're not having no problems. They're not. They're not under no duress where it's. It's. You know what I mean? It's not going their way or they're frustrated. They're not talking to them out of frustration. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like him showing that 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 type of frustration. I feel like like I'm saying. You know, it's like he still got some growing to do. But I, 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 I believe he listen. Did. I agree with the growing. I agree. I agree. But I'm saying, but if they I'm got in that ring, Bud gonna beat the stew out of him. No, Bud gonna no. fuck him up. No. Fuck, no. Him up. No. fuck him up. No, fuck him up. He gonna fuck him first, up. First of all, fuck him up. First of all, we gotta be up. real. We gotta be real. Man, Bud Crawford. But, but being, we got, we gotta be real. But moving, but moving. He doing what he supposed to do. But he getting older. He gonna have a problem with that speed. First of all, time and B speed. Time and, time and be speed, but we talk time and be speed, and 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 Bud ain't Bud ain't slow, Bud ain't like that though. 
Bud still, like I say, Bud really do this shit. Bud no, still I believe that. No, I believe Bud that. Still, I believe that. And he live, and he live, and he still stay do shit to stay sharp. He play that basketball. Do you think, he play do you think that's the Do you think that's the best fight in boxing to happen? No, I think it's one of the best fights. It's one of the most, one of the more intriguing fights. Yeah, it's one I of the more it's intriguing one of the fights. Best fights in boxing. It's one of the more intriguing fights. But again, like I'm saying, Boots really did fight. And I don't the people that. with him obviously don't believe in that fight. No, the I don't people, believe that. No, with him, the, people, the people that can make the fight happen, the people that got the money, they obviously mm -hmm. don't believe in that fight. Because if the fight is that big and people and put Bud is coming off one his most spectacular victory, and this guy has got such a high, high, high ass reputation, why ain't nobody putting up the money to see that fight? I think I think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen. Okay, okay, but like I say, ain't nobody coming with the money yet, and and like I say, and then it boots. Like I said, he still ain't fought. So why would you accept the title when you could have been sitting around and waiting and just see what Crawford was gonna do? Why would you accept the title? But you know, but really you know the kind of you, you know the kind of if you really you know trying to fight prestige, Crawford. Kind of but you know what kind of prestige you know come with the title? You wouldn't just let it sit there. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. Yes, I would because listen. The person, whoever you okay, if you want to give it to somebody else, they still gotta go through me now, cause now he don't got it, but he got it. So now I'm in, a, now I'm in the line to fight him. Now, now I'm gonna have to, now somebody gonna have to fight me now. Somebody mm -hmm. gonna have to fight me, whether it go to purse bid or something. Somebody gonna have to fight me because you're not in that prestigious position. So that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't accept the title. So like I say, it was two things he could have did. Like I'm, it's two things he could have did. The title wasn't ever going nowhere. Either Bud gonna have to have to see if they ain't gonna do the rematch, then he gotta say, okay, well, Bud, you owe me my fade. You feel me? It's your what we gonna do? You gonna take the fade or not? You feel me? You got this much time. They gonna tell you you got this much time, and whether you gonna take the fade or not? Okay, if he don't take the fade, which I can't be mad at him. I can't be mad at if he don't take the fade. But now, who am I? I can't. I, why would I do all this cr hard work? To be upgraded to the champion, I, even if even as my dad, this why I'm this why I'm this why I'm trying to say this why I'm I'm coming from like that. I'm so old fashioned. I'm saying that shouldn't even be like that, bro. Okay, now I'm gonna fight for the vacant championship. I, I you cannot upgrade me to champion. That's a dumbass way to get notified that I'm a world champion in an email or a phone call. That don't make sense. I want to hear and the new. I need to go hey. to a training camp getting ready for the title. I need to get ready. I need to do all that getting ready for the title. Either way, either way, he damned if he do, damned if he don't. Because he's still nah, having man, a hard time getting a fight. Nah, nah, listen this though. Listen. But no, but it was crabs. That's a whole nother level. That's a just a whole nother, it's a whole nother, it's a whole nother level with the title up for grabs. It, uh, be, as opposed to he now he awarded the championship and he can't get no fight. That's just a whole nother level. And, and even at the same time, so still, I'm not that hard up to just to be called the champion. Because what have I done? That I didn't win the championship. I won all them fights, but I didn't win the world championship. I didn't get in boxing to here to get upgraded a champion. My time is going to come. I have to stay down. That's what people have to understand. You have to stay down. Your time is going to come. Your time is going to come. Let it be right. You don't have to. It's not that hard. You already got status already. They already treat you like a champion. Sugar Ray Robinson was the uncrowned World Away champion for five years, bro. For five years, this man was the number one contender for the title and couldn't get a title. Come on, bro. Like I'm saying. So, no. so, what, you so what you're saying is, so what you're saying is, we looking at the new Sugar Ray Robinson. And Boots Ennis. Hell no. No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Nope. We would have been if he would have if fought for that title. Sugar Ray Robinson fought for the vacant title. He fought Tommy Bell for the vacant title, another black fighter who didn't get his just due and didn't get no shots and, and, and had a hard luck but was cold. He fought a, that's who he fought for the title. So nah, he should have fought for the title, man. He should have he should have fought for that title. Man. Hey. So if like you, I say, I think it's an intriguing fight, but do I believe he believe he can beat Bud Crawford? No. And do I and nobody see, else believe that. But see, I think it's a good fight because the how dynamic he looks. I believe, I believe early I believe 25, early we, get we get that fight. We get Bud and Boots. We get Bud and Boots. Well, somebody pay for it. I don't know. 
I think it's but uh, it seemed like it seemed like it seemed like everybody uh, ducking, but they most maybe they will come up with the money because uh I heard that uh that uh that uh this fella said that he would duck out fighting, but he'd rather give up the WBO title than uh than uh than the, than the fight Bud. Who said that? They they got that going around out on the uh, boxing voice or whoever they putting out they put that out that uh, Tim Zoo said that he would rather if a fight with Earl Spence came up that he would vacate the WBO title and uh, fight Earl Spence. I said wow, I don't know how true that is, but yeah. somebody showed me that was a quote on Boxing Voice and uh, you know I've been hearing all kind of stuff which I I, I ain't seen it in the real news, but I figure. You know, people just make up stuff. People yeah, I don't get, I don't yeah, get caught up in the tabloids, man. They be talking to shit. I don't get caught up in that. I don't get caught up in that. Yeah, well, it was on the boxing voice, like, like the boxing. I don't know, like, uh, my partner showed me it was the, it was like it had their logo on it, and that's and they and that's what I guess they quoted him as saying that. So I don't know. So, so, so Tim Zoo so, so, or or, or, uh, or, or uh, Fundora, Fundora were waiting for the winner, waiting one of them. for the winner, one of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he want to be the he want to be champion in another weight class. You know what I'm okay. saying? That's what it was about, okay. moving up and becoming another champion. You know what I mean? Uh, we did everything we did at 47. Want to go fight Canelo and make some history and make some money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Still got a lot left. Still having fun. And uh, why this guy? This kid is hot. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's doing doing a good job, and now he's the world champion. So, you know, of course, we want to fight the hottest thing smoking, you know? Charlo the champion, but he ain't looking so good right now. His uh, his reputation kind of soiled. So, you know what I'm saying? I uh, guess we're looking for the big, the best and the finest, and uh, that's Zoo right now. Uh, Lord willing, he come through with Fendora, man. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't, he ain't against it tough. But, you know what I'm saying? Where else do Bud go? You know what I mean? Sure. I think, I mean, I, listen, I, mean, I, I, agree, listen, with I agree with him going to 54, but I also think, but I also next, year, think next year, I think early 25, think early Boots, 25, go 25 Boots go to 54. I think they meet at 54. Think they meet at 54. Oh, that'd be excellent. That'd be beautiful. That'd be even beautiful. better. Mm-hmm. That'd be even better. Mm-hmm. I was thinking that too. Cause I was thinking that too. Cause Bud's going to be wanting to move up. Yeah, he wanted to move up. So, 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 yeah, he wanted Usyk and Fury. He ain't getting his ass whooped, though. I'm telling you. He getting his ass whooped. He getting his ass whooped. He ain't. I'm telling you. He getting his ass whooped. He getting his ass whooped. He getting his ass whooped. Uh, 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 Fury, Fury, it's it's a hell of a fight. You know, uh, two undefeated guys. You you got Usyk, who's like dynamic, you know, for a big guy. You know what I mean? He got, he got a style about him. You know, he ain't just no plotting fighter. And then, you you know, you got Fury. You know, he's not the prettiest fighter, but, you know, he's a smart fighter. And, you know, he, he's a boxer for his size. You know what I mean? Tyson Fury is that guy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just it's just a real true heavyweight championship fight. You know, two two worthy fighters fighting for the heavyweight championship as it should be. You know, and a guy like Usyk who got all the other titles and Fury never had all the titles, even though he's been the lineal champion twice. You know what I mean? He's the, this is the, he's the lineal champion. Uh but uh, you know, so yeah, it's, it's it's good for boxing. That's what the best fighting the best. Who you like though? Who you liking that fight? Ah. I'm gonna go with Fury still because I love Fury. I won't rule Usyk out, but I love Fury, man. I, I like Fury, man. I really like Fury. Man. I keep I keep trying to tell keep, a lot of a lot of my young boys. I said, listen, a lot of my young boys, when it comes to skills. Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world. Well, Usyk got some super solid skills though, and he got good form. He and do. he got good technique. He do. But so, he, so, so, but he can't like take say, a body he, shot. He, he can't take a body shot. I, I think that's. You might be a little right. You might be a little right. But I think it's. I think oh boy, Du Bois did hit him low. That was low. That was low. That was perfect. Du Bois hit him low. That was perfect. Nah. You gotta hit him on the skin. You can't hit him underneath on the belt line under the trunks. You gotta hit him on the skin. He didn't hit him on the skin. You gotta hit that man on the skin. You can't hit that man on the belt line. You gotta hit that man on the skin. That's a body shot. Anything on that belt line or below, that's a low blow. They 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 saying they saying if boots and butt match up, 
Two me and you on the undercard. Me and you on the undercard. Man, you a heavyweight now. I'm coming down, baby. I'm bringing it down. I'm coming down, baby. I'm bringing it down. Take it to 26 uh, uh, and uh, 35 <laughs> and, uh, and shit. I got you. <laughs> yeah. He tried to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, to now, kill I'm only one. I'm only one forty right now. God Shit. damn! I'm one forty. I thought you was about one sixty. Right now. <laughs> nah, man, I fought at twenty six, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God damn! I'm gonna have to. I know I got to do too much to get down that low. God damn! <laughs> we, we might, we might, we fuck. We might do a charity joint, man. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> How much you weigh? What you what you weigh? Shit, I'm walking around like two oh seven right now. Oh man, we ain't got nothing in common, man. We ain't doing nothing, man. We, we ain't sparring or nothing, man. We ain't doing none of that, man. No, man. No. No, I feel you. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, we got um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, oh yeah, I meant to tell you, I got Pitbull Cruz knocking out Roley in the fourth round. That early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the war, I don't know about that early, but I'm a war gonna break out. I'm, I'm pulling for him. A war definitely gonna break out. Yeah, and that low style that he got, I think he gonna. Yeah, yeah. I'm hope. I'm really w wishing for him, man. I'm really wishing for him. Like I say, I'm pulling for him. It's gonna be a good card. Good card this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. This yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you got the little yeah. man girl. She tough and she good looking. Sinista, she the hundred and five pound. You know what I mean? She that's too. She fight for all the belts. Hey, she fighting motherfucker, hey, but that's too small for my taste. Small for my <laughs> but she box good. <laughs> but she box good. I'm talking about the weight. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She a little tiny little thing. Yeah, she a little tiny little thing. She, I like them small though. I'm only 26, so I like them tiny. No, I got the, yeah. I got, the, I got to be able to rush. Yeah, yeah. But no, so she fighting for undisputed, so that's gonna be something that you know. Like I said, and she can fight though. She really can box. The the talent of women, women's talent is starting to rise in boxing. They yeah. really starting to be able to really box and really put on a show. You know what I mean? Like really, yeah. So uh, like I say, and she's one of them. So I'm excited about that this weekend too. Yeah. Hey, I see y'all got uh Troy Isley over there, man. He looking good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh uh, you know, a real workhorse. Um, you know, uh a kid that taking his craft serious. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, yeah, man. You know, and those a quiet, dignified guy. You know what I mean? Go about his work in a workmanlike fashion. You know what I'm saying? But this guy, you know what I'm saying? He the goods, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, he's one of those, he he one of those, Uh, like I say, he is a role model champion. You know what I mean? He don't live a party life. He not in a, uh, be something that he's not. You know what I mean? He just, you know what I mean? He just, he just him, you know, just like the working man. So, uh, like I say, a good student of the game. You know, uh, tries really hard, you know, really hard on himself and, uh, you know, so, yeah, it's good. Man. You know, it's good working with the fighters. I love working with the fighters, you know, and, and I'm glad that we in this position to be able to do that, you know, because yes, I yes, think sir. that Bo is a, a hell of a trainer. I think he got a hell of a, he's a hell of a psychiatrist, you know what I'm saying? And and just all of them, all the whole team, just a, really a top tier team, man. Really yeah. a top tier team that the rest of the world is being able to get exposed to, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Keyshawn hey, Davis, Davis, Kid Austin. Kid what you Austin. think about that what fight? What you think about that fight? Yep, yep. I think it's a hot fight. I think it's a it, it, it's a hot fight, man. I think it's a hot fight. I seen Kid Austin. I think you know he got an all action style, and he what, got fifteen fights. Keyshawn got eleven fights, so they moving them fast. And uh, you know he making a reputation of himself. And I think it'll be a good fight. I think it'll be a popular fight. You know, a good undercard fight with somebody. You know what I mean? On some nice good undercard. You know, but um, like I say, Kid Austin. Yeah, he making his way, but uh, you know. Uh, you know, he's a kind of a wild swinging type of guy. So I'm not really high on him like that, you know, yeah. but he's doing his yeah. thing. And, you know, I feel like a lot of his attention is coming from the big dogs giving him attention. You know, okay. what I mean? everybody, everybody responding to him and giving him that clout. So they're like, damn, who this nigga they arguing with? You know what I mean? And then he ain't, he knocking people out too. You know what I mean? So they're like, oh shit. Okay. So now I'm turned up now. You know what I mean? They didn't, we didn't hit me on to him. And now, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, yeah, shit, he ambitious fighter. He a young fighter. 
and uh, he's talking a yeah. lot of stuff, but yeah. again, you know what I'm saying? For him, it's just, just I would just keep getting better. You know what I mean? Keep getting better. Keep working on your craft and just be waiting for them fights to come, you know, but then it's on them guys to see what they're going to do. Is, is y'all going to take these fights? These are the fights that the people want to see. These are the, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And, and, and uh, you know, the people, I think the promoters got to, I think the promoters should understand that too. If the people talking about it, you know, that's what we need to be trying to get these guys together. What is yeah. going to take to get these guys together? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because yeah. at the end of the game, it's a boxing game. You know, I, I, I'm, fight. Just fair, fight. I'm just fairy. I'm just fairy tale talking, but uh, uh, I, I want to push the, fa- the the sport forward. You know what I mean? Everybody in this in this in the sport should want to push the sport forward. So if this is the sport we in, like I'm saying, I mean, if you if I'm with Golden Boy and they got a good cold fighter over there, why are we not linking up? I do yeah. my own yeah. shows and uh, on my own, but then okay, you do this and I do this. You handle production, I handle this. Well, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. we still both focused up. They they know it's a collaboration. Uh, you feel me? And the people is happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. I could just be fairy tale talking. Who you? Who your favorite who promoters, your favorite in, the promoters in the game? You know, like I say, I, I was with the, you know I come up under HBO. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I really love HBO matchmaking and boxing and what they did. And you know what I'm saying? I used to watch ESPN Friday Night Fights. Yeah. And uh, it was doing a thing. With, you know, Bernard Hopkins was trying to bring a lot of the black fighters in that wasn't getting no shots. You know what I mean? When he linked up with Golden Boy. And, uh, you know, they were... That's it. You know, I think they... You know what I mean? You always had Bob Arum and... You know, you had Don King, love Don King. But like I say, he make them fights. Don yeah. King make them fights. Yeah. You feel me? Because what are we talking about here? Good dope sell itself. Don oh, King make them fights. Oh, Shit. So, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, I don't know. You know, when I think about that, I think about, like I say, uh, Danny Romero and Johnny Tapia, man. They was a, a rivalry. You know what I'm saying? They, they was both from Phoenix, from Albuquerque. You know yeah. what I mean? Or whatever, yeah. around that area. And, uh, you know, they was both superstars and they both wanted each other's head. You understand? We can't share this town. It's only one king in this town and somebody got to handle that. You know? Yeah. Unification. Yeah. W, uh, Junior Benaway, IBF and WBO Junior Benaway World Championships, man. I watched that shit live. I, I really was waiting on that shit to happen. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, so, I, I ain't trying to hold you too long, long, but give me, right. give me your best, give me your, your best, top five right top now. Top five right now. Top five fighters right now? Yeah, that you like. Yeah, it you it like. could be your personal uh, five. Uh, uh, Bam Rodriguez. I'm really okay. loving Bam. I really love Bam Rodriguez, man. I love Bam Rodriguez. You know what I'm saying? He about to fight Estrada, which I like what they doing. He fighting. He fought quality guys, even though they was older, but they were the long. They were the champions. He okay. beat the okay. he beat the champions, and they still they passed it, but they solid. He beat them. He passed the test with flying colors as he should you understand flying colors and now he's fighting he went down he beat that young boy Sonny Edwards who was a bad motherfucker at 112 he dropped back down 112 beat stopped him stopped Sonny Edwards which is beautiful now he beat uh, a contemporary so it ain't just like he beating up old men and uh, now he's gonna fight El Gallo the reigning champion the ring magazine champion at 115 and like I say, so I love him, Bam. I really like his style. I think he's a ph- phenomenal boxer, and he's gonna be pound for pound. And he's mm-hmm. making his case right now. He just, little. you understand? They really ain't. They everybody looking at thirty five and up, but like I say, he just little. So Bam mm-hmm. Rodriguez, you know, of course, uh, Shakur, Tank, um, you know, Bud, obviously. Um, I'm really, I'm really falling for Devin now. I, ha- I gave Devin so much credit, so much criticism. You know, it's almost like. Uh, it's almost like not when I say when I say I, I when I say jealousy and hate, it's not like or it's love and hate the same time. Not that I was jealous of him, but like I've been so critical of him. You feel mm-hmm. me? So 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 it's like I pay attention to him a little bit more. I think about him a little bit more. So as I've been watching him and uh, I had a chance to interact with him and I've been watching him, you know what I mean? I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? I think he really he really striving to try to be somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. uh so I, I've been looking at Devin Haney, and um, who else is it? You know I love uh, Better Beef. 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? You're a wrecking ball machine, bro. I love better be I love boxers, man. So it's so many. I love uh Navarrete. I really love Navarrete. You know what I mean? Uh Keyshawn, of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh so it's a plethora of boxers, you know what I mean? So I can, like I say, my top five would be hard because I just love boxing. So any of them guys fighting, I'm geeked up. I want to watch them. You know what I mean? So uh, like I say, it's 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 a it's a plethora of boxers, you know. I like T.O., you know, even though he crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So them, them the guys, I, I I like them guys, you know. Beaver, you know what I mean? Like I say, better Beef. Uh, how, you feel, how, you how you feel about Matias? Matias, you understand? Yes, I'm geeked on him. You understand? I'm geeked on him. Uh, uh, like I say, uh, he come back that that dude acting like he gonna beat him to death and come out all strong and throwing them hard ass punches. And by the time the fifth round come, that man didn't want to have nothing to do with him. That man didn't want to have nothing to do with him. So uh, yes, man, yes. Uh, I watched his story. You know what I mean. So I've been uh, high on Matisse, even though he's not the most like skillful or to watch, but. Uh, his dramatic, how dramatic he is. You know, you gotta tune into this guy. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a monster. So, uh, hell yeah, man. I love boxing, man. I want to see a good matchup. You know what I mean? Hey, and, Burn, and, man. And, and, hey, Burn, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. See what, what you're saying. At the same time, I like to see, I like to see a, a good matchup where two cold ass fighters, you know, banging it out. But I like to just see, like, like I say, like a showcase fight. You understand? Like, uh. Like uh Trinidad, how he knocked out uh what's his name? His name was Larry Barnes or something. Yeah, you know, uh yeah. uh uh Sweet Pea when he moved up, like I say, he fought that Gary Jacobs dude from France. Um Shane Mosley when he fought uh he defended the title against uh Jesse James Leha. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just showcase yeah. fights. I like to see the man go to work. I love his style, I love the way he throws his jab. Uh Barrera when he fought uh couple uh, Barrera is like my favorite. Barrera, if I could say like you know what I mean? Cause I'm like a guy who like, uh, like, I I probably just to be different. I won't go for, like I say, like Roy Jones probably like was the superest guy. Yeah. But I wouldn't say Roy Jones like my favorite. You feel me? Like yeah. Shane Mosley would be my favorite. You know what I mean? Like even though Roy Jones like Trump everybody. So you know what I'm saying? My one of my favorites is Barrera, man. Marco Antonio Barrera is like my super ultimate guy. Like to watch, like. I just love to watch him do everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he's a gangster, too. Put on, gangster too. Yeah, super gangster. So that's probably why I love him. You know, so yeah. uh, like shit like that. Him and Shane, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I put them fights on and just, you know what I mean? Listen to everything. Listen to the first one they come on, the commentary, they come out the ring. You know what yeah. I mean? I know all the shit word yeah. for word. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, How you feel about Inuit? How you feel about Inuit? I really like Inuit, too. I like him. I like what he's doing, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying, uh, which ain't no no fault of his own, he eating. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they putting him in position to do all that instead of stalling him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And so, uh, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I like what he's doing. Uh, he really impressed me with Steph Fulton. I really wanted, I thought Fulton was going to beat him. Oh, my mama. I didn't think he now you was uh, like a fluff, but I thought, I thought, thought so much of Fulton that I feel like, no, nah, he too big. Uh, you know what I mean? He too, he got, he, you know what I mean? So once he beat Fulton in the fashion that he did, he did become undisputed and he was a bud. Like I it's almost like a, uh, you know, I don't want to be, uh, Bud never can get in position. Like you, you, he's been clearly held out of position. Like that's not even a secret. So, you know what I'm saying? You got one guy that's constantly getting held out and you got one guy that's getting ushered in. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? On that alone, you feel me? I understand he did it, but listen, we got it really out the mud. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? But anyway, it's cold blooded. And I like to see what he what he what he can do. Hey Bernie, man, I appreciate hey, Bernie, you for man, tapping in with me for sure. Let everybody know, yeah. where, they everybody know where they can catch up with you at. Hey, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can catch me at YouTube on Instagram at Bernie the Boxer, Bernie T H A Boxer. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing. I, I this Thursday, I usually was gonna do a show, but me and Greg, he we had said we was gonna do it. And I wasn't feeling good the other day, so I wanted to reach back out to the kid. And uh, like I said, you know what I'm saying? We got a uh, chance to have some words. I know it's going to go up. 
I don't want to flood you guys. I don't want to oversaturate you guys with me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we didn't done like an hour or whatever and a good boxing talk and that'll go. So you know how I'm feeling. Um, I'll probably do a show on Sunday because, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see what the winners happen on Saturday. So I'll probably do a show on Okay. I seen a question in here. And they said about shoe shade that about shoe shoe. Yeah. What about shoe shoe? Shoe, I like what shoe shoe doing and just keep building. That's what uh Sam Carl is getting them ready for the title and pretty soon, you know what I'm saying? Good peoples. Yeah, very sharp too. Sharp motherfuckers. Very sharp too. Sharp motherfuckers. Yeah. Hey, but yeah. burn look good. The knockout he come, came back out that knockout, man. I was spectacular, man. That's what shit that puts people in seats and make people remember you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. but before I get out of here, but before I get out of here, mm -hmm. boots a bad motherfucker, boots man. Bad motherfucker. Uh, yeah, okay, cause cause you in Philly and that's your boy. <laughs> no, but I, not. It ain't just that. I'm gonna take all of that out of it. He just a bad motherfucker, man. Okay, I that too, but sorry. that's somebody that's somebody I just watched him grow up, man. Okay, so you've been in the gym with him and stuff. All types, yeah, yeah. All types, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So right, so that's y'all one, and I understand that. You know bad what I mean? I understand that, but I, I, he is he is a bad motherfucker. But this is what I want. This is all I want to understand. No, I'm serious. This no, I'm serious. Because because I, I like I don't want to. I don't know. I just can't not say it. But. If he felt that he would have did, he would have did everything he could to try to make that fight. It's going to happen. And if and it's if and, happen. and if uh and if uh and if uh and if the folks, the folks who put the money up, if they felt it, then they would have put the money up. And that's it's going to happen. It's going to happen. My at man. Oh, at fifty four, his ass is definitely whooped. No. Forty seven is he come, at fifty four. We ain't got to lose no weight. All right, Greg, man, you gonna have a wager then. We gonna have to have a wager. We gonna, gonna have a wager then. We gonna definitely have a wager. I'm betting all my money on Crawford, boy. Definitely Already. ain't no question. Already. We gonna beat the stew out of boots, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm telling you. We gonna. Man, we I'm gonna, trying to tell we you. Gonna, we, gonna, we gonna beat the tarnation out of boots, man. Oh, 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 oh. I can't yeah, we wait. Gonna beat the, I can't wait. We gonna beat the tarnation out of boots, man. <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even know what I don't even know what tarnation is, but we gonna do that. If you get, <laughs> if you get, the, if you get, the, if you ever get close to him, tell him, call me on the phone with him so I can tell him, man. We gonna beat the tarnation out of you. We gonna get it going, <laughs> my right, dog. Man, I appreciate, appreciate you, man. All right, my man.